And welcome to another evening of Swiftcurt 57's Baseball, brought to you by Crop Production Services and Living Sky Casino. Tonight, our travels take us to Yorkton, where the Swiftcurt 57's are looking for their third win of the season and their second in a row over these Yorkton Cardinals. 57's with a day to kill today in eastern Saskatchewan and ready to go here tonight. As you can see, the 57's going with their popular all-orange look here this evening. The prison jumpsuit style uniform tonight for the Swift Current 57s. Looking for their first win in those uniforms, incidentally, actually, but they've gone over really well with the fans who all seem to enjoy it. Ryan Thrasher, he has other plans besides the Swift Current 57s win tonight. He's going to get the start on the mound for the 57s. Right-handed pitcher for the Cardinals, Thrasher. Vancouver Island University, native of Sherwood Park, Alberta. One appearance this year. He worked three and a third, allowing three hits, five runs, all of them earned, striking out three and walking seven. 0-1 oh on the year. He's allowed one double, and he's got a 10.5 earned run average. Ryan Thrasher getting set to work against the top of the Swift Current 57's batting order. We're going to see Anthony Stewart, Ethan Hunter, and Brian Benz, the 1-2-3 hitters for the Swift Current 57s. Conditions at game time, the wind blowing right in the face of the batters, a gentle breeze blowing in from center field, and the temperature at game time, 14 degrees Celsius, that is 57 degrees Fahrenheit for our American friends, and we thank you for joining us for another edition of Swift Current 57s Baseball, wherever you may be tonight, be it back in our sense-making city of Swift Current, or the hometowns of many of the players that have come to spend a summer in Saskatchewan playing baseball and entertaining fans across the Canadian prairies. It's been an interesting season thus far, not the usual suspects in first place a week or so into the season. Moose Jaw Miller Express in action tonight. Right now they sit 6-0, and leading the WNBL East, followed by the 4-0 and Weyburn Beavers. Melville Millionaires have a 3-1 and record. The Swift Current 57s playing their eighth game of the season. That leads the league. They have a record of two and five. Regina Red Sox one and three and the Yorkton Cardinals with a depleted roster. Still looking for their first W on the season. The Cardinals in their reds with the white pants taking on the all orange Swift Current 57s. Out in the Western Division, how about parity in the league this year? Okotoks, Edmonton, Fort Mac, and Med Hat, all with three and two records thus far. The Brooks Bombers, two and four. And the Lethbridge Bulls, a flagship franchise in the league, who are always good and competitive. Out to a slow start, one and five. You have to think it's only a matter of time before the Lethbridge Bulls are able to turn things around out west, though. As they're good more often than not. As Anthony Stewart gets set to lead off here for the Swift Current 57, Stewart... 310 batting average on the year. He'll be followed by Ethan Hunter and then Brian Benz. Anthony Stewart coming to Swift Current via Washington, University of Minnesota. 5'10", 155, Stewart built for speed, and we've certainly seen that both on the base paths and in the outfield. Stewart, 310 average, couple doubles, nine hits in 29 at bats. Two and one count right now to Anthony. Defensively for the Cardinals, the before mentioned Ryan Thrasher on the mound, the right handed pitcher who goes through his wind up and throws an offering to Matt Zanuto outside. Zanuto catching, Gage Buck at first, Jace Wilson at second. Colin Kellington at short, Chris Cook moving from right field to patrol third base this evening. Ryan Nemi is in left as ball four is going to sail past Anthony Stewart. Ryan Nemi in left, Thyrus Jones in center, Landon McDougal enters this series with the Swift Current 57s. He'll patrol right field. Ethan Hunter steps in, shortstop. So now Ethan Hunter will take a turn with nobody out. And Anthony Stewart parked at first base. Ethan, uh, one for five last night. Scored a run. Hunter, this will be his third game with the Swift Current 57. Shows bunt with Stewart on at first base. Stewart, 222. Brian Benz and his 321 batting average. Warming up in the on deck circle. And nothing in one right now. The count to Ethan Hunter. Swift Current 57s will bust back to Swift Current at the conclusion of tonight's game. Have a day off tomorrow. And then 
It'll be a home date Sunday afternoon against Regina. Members of the Swift Current 57s tomorrow actually taking a trip out to Maple Creek, helping out with a uh, baseball clinic out there. So 57s doing a little PR on their day off. Wind not quite as howling as much as it was 24 hours ago. One and two count to Ethan Hunter. Anthony Stewart still at first base. We'll keep an eye on him. Not hard to make out the base runner tonight. 57s in those high-vis orange uniforms. Breaking ball stays up at about eye level to Ethan Hunter. And that'll even things out at 2-2. Two and two. Dylan Champagne DHing for the Yorkton Cardinals tonight. He played third last night. Yorkton still having a few pitchers play position spots. Ground ball up the middle, diving stab by Wilson. Unable to turn two, they get the force at second as Anthony Stewart was bearing down. Good diving play by Jace Wilson. He dirtied up the unit to keep that in the infield and flip it to Colin Kellington at short. And now one down, runner on at first base, Brian Benz to the plate. Benz hitting 321, seven runs batted in in seven games. Swift Current 57s with two home runs in this young season. Benz has one of them. Bo McClintock the other. Brings up Brian Benz, a left, left fielder. Swift has yet. First pitch high away. One ball I was going to say they have yet to hit a home run on the road, but that's not true. Brian Benz hit his in Regina. Bo McClintock, his happening at Mitchell Field against the Melville Millionaires. Brian Benz has six and 12 Bo on deck. Pitch low and away, righty on righty matchup. Ryan Thrasher, 2 0 count to Brian Benz. One away, run around first base. Thrasher looks in, gets a sign in. Thrasher delivers. Just missed that inside corner, fastball. Boat belt high and inside. No strikes. Ryan Thrasher. About to unload pitch number 14 balls, no of his top of the first. Nine of his first 13 pitches outside the strike zone, so he's looking to get settled here. Runner in motion, and ball four and away. So Brian Benz will take his base at first. And now one down, two on for the Swift Current 57s, and Bo McClintock to the plate. Bo looking to bear down here and find something that he can drive. Bo back at first. Righty pitcher against a righty hitter here with two on for McClintock. Low and away. McClintock electing not to chase. And Ryan Thrasher again trying to find that strike zone. Four strikes, 11 pitches, or four strikes, 11 balls comprise the first 15 pitches for Thrasher. He's up there, and Matt Zanuto is going to go have a quick chat with his pitcher. As the catcher from the University of Calgary is going to go have a quick chat with the man on the mound. Another chilly night in eastern Saskatchewan. Just enough of a wind to keep the mosquitoes at bay, which you won't hear too many complaints about. Top of the first inning, two on, nobody out here. 57's trying to get some early runs on the board here as Ryan Thrasher delivers a pitch up high to McClintock. 3-0 count. Seven straight pitches outside the strike zone coming from Ryan Thrasher. On deck for the 57's, you ask? Dawson Tate warming up. 3-0 pitch. McClintock takes. Bo ready to head to first, but that pitch biting the lower part of the zone and McClintock will stick around for a 3-1 now. Walk loads the bases here in the top of the first inning. The 
One down. McClintock gets a piece of that one. Hit back. back. Way back, way back. That's gone. Boeing. Boeing. Gone. McClintock. A McDinger. And the 57s. Three run Jack. Quick lead here in Yorkton. The Orange Crew rounds the bases. Second home run of the year for Bo McClintock. And Bo seeing something he can drive and depositing that one over top of the scoreboard in left field. That was a shot. That was a boat note shot. And with one down here in the top of the first inning, 57s are up a field goal here. After Bo McClintock put a charge into that baseball and drilled it towards downtown Yorkton. Here's the delivery. Thrasher up to Dawson Tate at the plate now. 240 on the year for Dawson. One ball, no strikes. Dawson Tate standing in. Six hits, 25 at bats for Dawson. Dawson working third base tonight as he caught last night. Ryan Thrasher isn't coming close to that strike zone. Tough top of the first for Ryan Thrasher here, giving up that three run home run. And now one that Thrasher ducks to, or that Tate ducks to get out of the way out of. 22 pitches, 16 of which outside the strike zone. One of which deposited with authority over the left field wall. Tate advances to first via the walk. And now Saskatoon's Jared Binsfield will step up to the plate. Not before Cardinals assistant coach and former member of the Swift Current WNBL team, Brady Hole, goes and has a conversation with pitcher and catcher. Good to catch up with Brady last night, his fond memories of being a part of that 2010 Swift Current Indians WNBL championship team. It's a rough start here. So Brady Hole having a quick chat with... Ryan Thrasher. Three runs in right now. And at the top of your screen, conversation with the second base umpire Runner at first base. from the head coach. Speculation is that the debate is that Bo McClintock rounded the bases without touching all the bases on that home run. First pitch now to Binsfield. High level. Jared Binsfield. 333 average on the year. Six hits, 18 at bats. He's appeared in six games. So some Saskatchewan talent at the plate now. The Saskatonian takes strike, one and one. Runner on at first base for him to work with. Dawson Tate walking moments ago. It's a 3 nothing lead for the Swift Current 57s. Bo McClintock, second home run of the year with two men on. And back-to-back -back strikes as Ryan Thrasher's confidence grows. One ball, two strikes. Starting pitcher for the Swift Current 57s when we get there is going to be Zach Bravo. Fly ball, left field. Ryan Nemi is there to make the catch. Two down now as Binsfield flies out to seven. And now Spencer Rankin with the turn. Rankin three hits and 12 at bats. He's appeared in five games, sat sharing the catching duties with Dawson Tate. The aforementioned Dawson Tate still parked at first base. 
Field here in Yorkton looks in good shape. It started raining at about 11 o'clock last night, letting up about 1 this afternoon. First pitch in there, first strike. Field was tarped. All is good. Everything nice and green here. No balls, one strike. Wind up and the delivery, and that pitch curves outside. One ball, one strike. A couple other games in the WNBL tonight. Fort McMurray is in Edmonton. Take on the prospects. Weyburn in Melville and Moose Jaw at Athletic Park in Medicine Hat. Spencer Rakin takes. And count now one and two. Cade Burdett, DHing tonight for the 57s, waits on deck. Thrasher, delivers, swung on and missed, strike three, ranking out in front of something that had a little bit taken off of it. So that'll do it for the Swift Current 57s. Bo McClintock electrifies the Swift Current offense with a three run, no doubter. A home run that rocketed off Bo's bat head. Three nothing Swifty will be back with the bottom of the first and Zach Bravo on the mound when we return with Swift Current 57s baseball. At Crop Production Services, we're on in our commitment to farming. As in, it's on, lights on, game on. On this day and every day. Because through seeding, spraying, and harvest, on isn't an option. It's a marathon of on for farmers. On track, on time, always on. Like CPS in your community. So much riding on your farm. So many ways to profit from our experience. Bring it on. CPS, we're with you. Welcome back to Swift Current 57's Baseball. There's Zach Bravo, Albuquerque, New Mexico product, getting ready to go here. His second start of the WNBL season as he was part of the Swift Current 57's first road game of the year. He got the start in Moose Jaw against the Miller Express. Bravo in that one appearance, 2.2 innings of work, allowing two hits, four runs, all of them earned, striking out four and walking four, so 0-1 with a 10.50 earned run average. So the native of Albuquerque, New Mexico, will look to lower some of those stats at the expense of the Yorkton Cardinals. Welcome back, Card fans. Bravo 6'1", 160, Eastern Arizona College is where he played his ball at school. Bravo pitching to Spencer Rankin. Bo McClintock playing first base, Will Baker at second. Ethan Hunter is at short. At third base, we got Dawson Tate in the outfield. Got Brian Benz playing in left field. Anthony Stewart in center. And Jared Binsfield will patrol right field tonight. Top of the order for the Yorkton Cardinals, Thyrus Jones, 250 hitter, will hit first. Jace Wilson, second baseman, a 200 batting average at second. Hitting second, and Colin Kellington, shortstop, who hits 211, will hit third. Thyrus Jones last night, offensive catalyst, stepping up to the plate right now. Jones going through his pre at bat routine. Jones last night hit a double. Now I got called on this too when he hit that double. I incorrectly referred to it as a ground rule double. As the ball went off of Brian Benz before leaving the playing service under the fence, it's an automatic double. And that's not a ground rule double. So there's the Jay and Dan, we blew it segment of the webcast tonight. So an automatic double last night for Thyrus Jones amongst his offensive contributions. Another called strike, Zach Bravo doing right, uh, going right after Thyrus Jones. Dawson Tate at third base, Spencer Rankin behind the plate. And as you mentioned, it's Zach Bravo, right-hander on the mound. Bravo. 
Winds and delivers. <coughs> Fast ball up and away. Three balls. Rady on lefty. Two, two balls, I'm sorry. Two balls and two strikes. Bravo, 2-2 two, two count here in the bottom of the first innings. With a little run support, Zach Bravo working tonight. 3 nothing lead for the 57s. High fly ball sent into shallow left center. Anthony Stewart camps underneath that ball, makes the catch in Brian Ben's neck of the woods. Really seeing some great range from Anthony Stewart in center field. He's a gamer for the 57s. Stewart, native of Washington. Jace Wilson now to the plate. Seen him make some good plays at second base for the Cardinals. Wilson, four hits in 20 at-bats this year. He's walked three times, been hit by a pitch once, and struck out seven times. First pitch, strike one. Zach Bravo dealing to Jace Wilson. No balls, one strike. And uh, that one's in there as well. All in two. Wilson from Strathmore, Alberta. University of Calgary. Zach Bravo winds and delivers. Fastball just a bit up. Good take one from ball, Wilson. Count one and two against him. High heat from Bravo, not missing by much. Count one and two. Curve ball stays outside. Nope. Early release on that breaking ball from Bravo, making things two and two. Outside. So we've got a full count right now. Bravo trying to get Jay Wilson to chase a few pitches outside the strike zone. Three, three takes from Wilson. Loads up the count. Bravo, 3-2 pitch. Zach working quickly here. Fast ball, swung on, hit to the outfield. And Brian Benz calls for that ball. Makes the catch in left for the second out of the bottom of the first and the 57s still up three. Colin Kellington, shortstop with a 2-11 average. Makes his way to the plate. Cardinals still with that small roster here. As they're waiting some of their recruits to... A lot arrive. Breaking ball from Bravo called strike. Oh, right, right. Righty on righty. No balls, one strike. Bravo working quickly here. And this is line. Fastball line to Benz. And the Texan doesn't have to move too far to make that catch. Brian Benz makes the catch. Kellington flies out to seven. Zach Bravo gets through the first inning, and he only needed 13 pitches to do so. So the 57s, so far so good. A quick inning for Zach Bravo and a three-run dinger for Bo McClintock. 3 nothing Swift after one. Top of two on the way. When planning your Swift Current stay, call the Days Inn. Just a short walk from Living Sky Casino and a few minutes from world-class golf, Days Inn offers free Wi-Fi, a continental breakfast to go with newly renovated rooms. Ask about suites with kitchenettes, unwind in the jacuzzi suite. If you're driving a large truck, no problem. There's lots of free parking. The Days Inn is home to locally renowned meeting and banquet facilities as well. Call 306-773-4623. The Days Inn, the host hotel for the Swift Current 57s. Welcome back to Swift Current 57's Baseball here in Yorkton. Glad that you could join us wherever you may be tuning in from. Look at Cardinal Field here in Yorkton. Seeing a little bit of blue sky peeking through the clouds as well. That's something that we have yet to see today is any sort of blue sky. An overcast day that... Had its fair share of rain out here. I'm sure area farmers are happy with the moisture. So Cade Burdett leading off now for the Swift Current 57s here in the top of two. Burdett, Baker, and Stewart, 891 do up for Swift. So the D.H. Burdett. 
Making his way to the plate, Burdett. Native of Las Vegas, swinging and missing at the first offering from Ryan Thrasher. And tough first inning for Ryan Thrasher as he gave up that three-run home run to Bo McClintock. And walked three in the first inning as well, striking out one along the way. Top of the first that saw him have to face seven. Goes to a curveball, and that's just over top of the catcher. Zanudo. Ball careens to the backstop. Thrasher looks in. Thrasher and Zanudo agree on a pitch. Swung on a miss from Burdett. Righty on righty. That pitch curving away from the native of Las Vegas. Thrasher going right after Burdett. Breaking ball. Strike three. And Burdett heads back to the dugout. Will Baker to the plate. Watching the sports highlights after last night once the 57s got back to their hotel. Saw the Washington Capitals presented with the Stanley Cup last night. Alexander Ovechkin finally capturing it. Stanley Cup after 13 seasons in the NHL. As Ryan Thrasher works against Will Baker. Straight called. Now another element of that Stanley Cup celebration that went viral was as Ovechkin was skating past the boards, an enthusiastic female fan revealing part of herself that isn't traditionally revealed in those situations. A clip that's made the rounds today. Now an interesting story about that, talking to the guys here about all that, is once upon a time Yorkton and Melville have quite the sports rivalry and there used to be a beer garden area just past the Cardinal dugout and apparently some enthusiastic female fans in Yorkton were doing anything they could to distract Melville millionaire players. That behavior encouraged by some, but discouraged by most others, and not a regular occurrence now, but it's a storied league indeed, this WNBL. Anthony Stewart to the plate right now, top of the order. First pitch to Anthony Stewart is up high, 1-0 count, with two down here in the top of the second inning, a 3-0 lead for the 57s. Ethan Hunter on deck. Tough first inning for Ryan Thrasher. Releases that pitch a tad early. Thrasher, 42 pitches, 25 of which have been outside the strike zone thus far. Goes after Stewart this time, though, for a called strike. So Stewart, who walked his last time up, Gets a piece of that baseball, check swing, and sent into the catcher's mitt. So now the count two and two to Stewart. His second at bat of the game here in the top of the second. Thrasher. Stewart reaches for that pitch that was heading up and away off the bat head and drilled foul. Young Yorktonians will try and zero in on that baseball. Two balls, two strikes, two out. Two two count. Here's the Swung on and missed. Drop third strike, but they'll get Stewart on the throw to first. So three strikeouts for Ryan Thrasher after getting touched up in the top of the first inning. And we will head to the bottom of two. 57 still up three. This is Swift Current 57's baseball brought to you by Crop Production Services and Living Sky Casino. At The Hearing Place, we're making a positive difference in the lives of our clients' hearing health. We are a full-time, fully licensed hearing health care facility. Our goal is to improve and maintain our clients' hearing health with personal attention and ongoing support. As an audiologist with more than 15 years' experience, I work with clients of all ages, including toddlers and newborns. This is not only my vocation, but my passion. When you come into the hearing place, you will receive a complete diagnostic hearing evaluation using state-of-the-art equipment. 
We talk about the specific reasons for your visit and the hearing situations you find most difficult. We then discuss the hearing options that are right for you, your budget and your lifestyle. The end goal is to ensure you leave with the knowledge and confidence about your future of hearing health. The Hearing Place. For more information, visit www.thehearingplace.ca. Welcome back to Swift Current 57's Baseball, end of another work week. We're glad that you could join us on Finally Friday from here in Yorkton. 57's in the field behind Zach Bravo. Bravo, an inning of work thus far. Didn't have any base runners against him. Facing three, Ryan Nimi leading off for the Cardinals, who are going to go four, five, six here. That's Nimi, Zanudo, and Buck. So Nimi getting set to work against Zach Bravo here. Bravo to Spencer Rankin behind the plate. Bo McClintock at first. Will Baker second. Ethan Hunter at short. Third baseman is Dawson Tate tonight. Outfield, Benz, Stewart, Binsfield. D.H. Burdett for the 57s. As Zach Bravo uncorks a fastball that catches the outside part of the plate. <clears throat> That's a good pitch to a lefty hitter from the right-handed pitcher, Bravo. Threw that pitch as far away from the hitter as he could with it still being a strike. Goes inside with a fastball this time. Count now 2-1. and one. And Bravo only 13 pitches to get through the first inning. Swing and a miss. Evening things out at 2. Bravo the 2-2. Two -two. Nimi thought about it. Good take. Bravo. One just above the belt. Full count pitch. Fly ball. Ryan Benz and Stewart both chasing after it, but Anthony Stewart is there in the outfield. So Nimi flying out to eight. And Matt Zanuto to the plate. Catcher. That's four straight for... Zach Bravo. Brings up Matt, uh, so far, so good for Zach Bravo. We're in the bottom of two, and the 57's up three. Bo McClintock, three-run home run in the first inning. Put us here. Bravo goes to that fastball as Zanudo hammers it foul. Zanudo digging in. Round ball. Ethan Hunter on the backhand and a laser to first. Ethan Hunter at short. Not an easy play to make. High velocity ground ball coming his way. Grabs it on the backhand. Quick transition from glove to throwing hand. And whammo, 6 3, 2 down. Gage Buck now. 22 pitches to get five outs. Not bad at all for Zach Bravo. Bravo. Fastball. It's fouled over top of the scorekeeper area where we find ourselves here in Yorkton. No balls, one strike. Bravo. Fastball inside. That evens the count at one ball, one strike. Just a dreary old. The hospitable crew here in Yorkton. Swing on this. Always a pleasure to meet the volunteers and game day staff in any ballpark that we go to. Everyone's been good in the WNBL. Curveball, strike three. Bravo. Kilo gets the K, 
And that does it for the Yorkton Cardinals. Two innings in the books. 3 nothing, 57s. Top of third and Swift on the sticks momentarily. We'll be back with more 57s baseball. At Crop Production Services, we're on in our commitment to farming. As in, it's on, lights on, game on. On this day and every day. Because through seeding, spraying, and harvest, on isn't an option. It's a marathon of on for farmers. On track, on time, always on. Like CPS in your community. So much riding on your farm. So many ways to profit from our experience. Bring it on. CPS, we're with you. When you need to unwind, visit Smiley's Lounge at the Days Inn Swift Current. Smiley's offers daily food specials and a full menu. Ask about their daily homemade soup and a wide variety of wings. Need something to go? Visit their off-sale, selling cold beer, hard liquor, wine and coolers, and all the ice you need. Need takeout or a catering service? Call 306-778-4600. Smiley's Lounge, North Service Road East, Swift Current. Welcome back to Cardinal Field, part of the Jubilee Park area here in beautiful Yorkton. 2-3-4 due up for Swift Current here in the top of the third inning. Ethan Hunter, Brian Benz, and Bo McClintock, barring any substitutions by 57's coach Joe Carnahan. Joe in his 11th season as the bench boss of the Swift Current squad. Three championships in 10 years. Not two bad percentage numbers for Joe Carnahan. Guiding Swift Current to WNBL titles in 2010, 16, and 17. Ground ball right back at the pitcher, the 1 3 flip, and that'll do it for Ethan Hunter to lead off the third inning here as Brian Benz makes his way to the plate. Benz walked his last time up. Brings up Brian Benz, the. Three first inning walks issued by Ryan Thrasher. He settled down a little bit since then. Thrasher two and a third, one hit, three runs, all of them earned. Striking out four and walking three. Curveball, good 12 6 movement on that curveball, but inside to Benz. Benz, native of Arlington, Texas. Played briefly with the Melville Millionaires in 2016, actually, in the WNBL. Hit four home runs in 18 games, which was an impressive feat. But in 2016, a sub-Mendoza line hitter was Ben, so he was all or nothing in his short time in Melville. Solid numbers now for Ben's, hitting 321. And among the league leaders in runs batted in, curveball from Thrasher stays up. Two and one the count. Thrasher, outside to Benz. Ryan Thrasher likely doing his homework on the Swift Current 57's hitters and aware of who's capable of doing what. And one bad pitch can hurt you when you're facing the likes of Brian Benz and Bo McClintock. And Thrasher with a full count now to Benz. Benz chasing after the high heat moments ago. Yeah, when he misses, he's been missing high and away. Thrasher agrees with Zanuto on a 3-2 pitch. Called strike three. Curveball. Good pitch, Thrasher. So now Bo to the plate with one swing of the bat. Three runs. Cashed in by Bo. Three runs. Towering. McClintock coming to Swift from Oregon, a state that's been good to the 57s over the years. So Bo, one for one with a three-run home run. Curveball stays up. Thrasher's gone to that curveball frequently. 56 pitches already thrown by Thrasher. Tough first inning for the Yorkton right-hander. 
out of Sherwood Park. Thrasher winds and delivers to Bow. Pitch just a bit up. Three one count to McClintock. Bo looking for something he can drive here, but a one hopper over the catcher with nobody on, and Bo takes his base. So a home run and a walk for McClintock. And now Dawson Tate. Tate walked his last time up. Bo on at first for him. And two down here in Yorkton. Top of the third inning. Moving right along here in Yorkton. 57s will take tomorrow off. They'll host Regina at 2 o'clock at Mitchell Field and Swift Current. Their next action will be this Sunday. Hope that you can join us. It'll be a good game at the ballpark. Last time Swift played Regina, no shortage of offense. 18-9 loss at Curry Field and Regina. One ball, no strikes. Elsewhere in the WNBL, Fort McMurray's in Edmonton, 1-1 at Remax Field in Edmonton, bottom of two. Zanuto blocks that pitch behind the plate. McClintock stays put. At Spitz Stadium in Lethbridge, the Bulls with a 1-0 lead on the Okotoks Dogs. Weyburn and Melville scoreless just down the road at Perry Field in Melville. And this can't be right, can it? In the bottom of the first, Medicine Hat with an 11 nothing lead on Moose Jaw. I gotta double check that. That can't be right. Well, yeah, it can. <laughs> wow. So things not going smoothly for the Moose Jaw Miller Express in Medicine Hat. 11 nothing in the first inning over Moose Jaw. Moose Jaw has gotten off that terrific start. So the 6-0 Moose Jaw Miller Express with their first significant taste of adversity, and that is a mouthful of adversity. 11-0, they trail. At least they have lots of time to get, come back in that one. So Athletic Park inhospitable to the unbeaten Moose Jaw Miller Express thus far. Here in New Yorkton, runner on at first for the 57s, Dawson Tate puts a swing on that ball, sends it into shallow center. Jace Wilson, the second baseman, forays into the outfield grass to make the catch. Bo McClintock is stranded. Bottom of three coming up. It's 3 nothing in favor of the Swift Current 57s. Zach Bravo on the mound when we return with more 57s baseball momentarily. At Crop Production Services, we're on in our commitment to farming. As in, it's on, lights on, game on. On this day and every day. Because through seeding, spraying, and harvest, on isn't an option. It's a marathon of on for farmers. On track, on time, always on. Like CPS in your community. So much riding on your farm. So many ways to profit from our experience. Bring it on. CPS, we're with you. And now, a message from your stomach. Hey, the workday's over and it's time to eat and I need some real good food. Some real good food from Houston Pizza. They've got savory ribs, souvlaki, steak, chicken, Greek or Caesar salad, and of course, that delicious pizza. Everything's made fresh daily. For dine-in, pickup, or delivery at Houston Pizza, you get real good food. Houston Pizza's got lots of real good food. Welcome back to Swift Current 57's Baseball, brought to you by Crop Production Services and Living Sky Casino. We're here in Yorkton. There's a look at Ray Sedley, the play-by-play -play voice of the Yorkton Cardinals, the Vin Scully of the WNBL, doing what he does here. And the rest of the game staff here in Yorkton. Dylan Champagne just fouled off a Zach Bravo offering moments ago. Nothing and one the count here. Bottom of the third inning. Three nothing lead for the visiting Swifter and 57s. Looking to win their second in a row here in Yorkton. Yeah. Bo McClintock putting one Swift in the driver's seat in this one with a three run home run in the bottom of the first. But 
We're a long way from being done here. Swing and a miss from Dylan Champagne, who's not going to see too many at-bats this year. He's one of the pitchers who's been called upon to fill the starting nine for the Yorkton Cardinals. He's played all over the place for us. And third base, first base pitch, line pitcher. Breaking ball in. It's inside. 7-8-9, due up for the Cardinals here in the third inning as Bravo winds and delivers. Righty on righty, fastball low and away, and just missed that outside corner. Three balls and one strike. Three and one count here, or 3-2 rather. Champagne launches that one into left field. Brian Benz on his horse, and Benz makes the catch at the warning track. That ball just died up there, folks. That that thing looked a ball that rocketed off the bat head. Benz makes the catch. Joe Carnahan coming out of the dugout. We'll see if Benz is okay. That ball just launched off the bat head. And there's Brian Benz out there. Over the shoulder catch at the warning track and then getting a face full of the wall here in Yorkton. Brian Benz. Great catch by the Texan. Hot and sunny day, that thing was gone, but uh, it just... Chris Cook at the plate now. Nothing and one the count to Cook, who played right field last night and is on third base duty here this evening. Pitch inside. Past Spencer Rankin, one and one the count. Bravo. No doubter. One ball, two strikes. One, two count. Bravo delivers. Ground ball. Will Baker. Takes a funny bounce on Baker. Recovers. Throws in time. Ground ball, funny hop on Baker. Baker picking that up and dispatching that ball to Bo McClintock in time to take care of Cook. Landon McDougal, number nine hitter at the plate right now. Bottom of the third inning. Fly ball, popped up. Will Baker calling everybody off and makes the catch. So another three up, three down inning for the Yorkton Cardinals. Three innings in the books, top of four on the way. Still three nothing for the Swift Current 57s. Huge catch from Brian Benz has people talking as he made the catch right at the warning track and then got a visage full of the red wall here in Yorkton. 3 nothing Swift, more baseball on the way. At Crop Production Services, we're on in our commitment to farming. As in, it's on, lights on, game on. On this day and every day. Because through seeding, spraying, and harvest, on isn't an option. It's a marathon of on for farmers. On track, on time, always on. Like CPS in your community. So much riding on your farm. So many ways to profit from our experience. Bring it on. CPS, we're with you. Welcome back to Swift Current 57's Baseball, brought to you by Crop Production Services and Living Sky Casino. It's Ryan Schweitzer in Yorkton. Dylan Champagne coming oh so close to homering for the Yorkton Cardinals, but that ball just getting hung up in the hot, sticky eastern Saskatchewan air. You see baseballs leave parks in Swift Current and area with a lot more frequency than you do in the 
southeastern part of the province. Swift Current's an area. It gets hot there, but it's a dry heat. Not much humidity in the summertime, whereas we're in an area with a lot of lakes, so the air a lot thicker on hot days. The humidity adding a few degrees to warm days here in Yorkton area. And that thick air at times depriving players of balls that could be home runs in other parks. As far as altitude goes, Yorkton just a little bit lower than Swift Current would be. But not a mountaintop ballpark like we have in Okotoks. So Binsfield leading off for the 57s. Binsfield, Rankin, Burdett, 6-7-8 for the 57s. Binsfield 0 for 1 this game. The Saskatonian is hitting 316 on the air. Flew out to left uh, at his previous at plate endeavor. Ryan Thrasher. High fastball past Binsfield. Thrasher. Off speed pitch, took something off that one, fouled off by Binsfield. Round ball, Binsfield, grabbed by Cook at third, throw is on target for the 5-3. So Spencer Rankin with the turn now. Good strong throw down to uh, Gage Buck. First, first out of the inning. Spencer Rankin. Right hand batter. Catcher struck out. Back in the first. Rankin reaches, ground ball to Cook, and that's underneath his glove, and that ball's just going to skate through the infield. So Cade Burdett to the plate now with Spencer Rankin on it first. Errors coming back to haunt the Cardinals last night. As no earned runs were actually credited to the Swift Current 57s, a 5-4 win last night. So the ball kicked around by the Yorkton Cardinals. Seven errors last night assessed to the team. Snap throw to first by catcher Zanuto. Rankin checks in. So one out and one on here. We're in the top of the fourth inning and a 3-0 lead for the Swift Current 57s. Game number two of a two-game set in Yorkton before Swift buses back to Swift Current tonight. Day off tomorrow. A few members of the 57s will be busting it out to Maple Creek tomorrow to take part in a baseball clinic, doing a little public relations and just over an hour trip to Maple Creek. And then Swift Current, Saturday night off before hosting the Regina Red Sox. 2 o'clock at Mitchell Field, Sunday. Two balls, one strike. Burdett awaiting the latest offering from Ryan Thrasher. Another snap, snap throw from the catcher over to first. Rankin checks in. Fort McMurray with a 2-1 lead on the Edmonton Prospects. Top of the third at Remax Field. Bottom of the second, Lethbridge leads, o leads Okotoks 1-0 in Lethbridge. Melville Millionaires with a 1-0 lead on the Weyburn Beavers in the top of the fourth, just down the road at Perry Field in Melville. And in the bottom of the second, Medicine Hat now with a 12-run lead on the Moose Jaw Miller Express, 12-0. As Cade Burdett is going to walk to first, so now two on for the 57s. And only one down, so Will Baker, Will Baker number nine hitter for the 57s. Only one away with two on, so Swift with a plethora of options to try and advance these hitters.
Thrasher, the righty, has a look at the runner on second. First pitch fastballs up to Baker. Baker number nine, spot in the order, top of the order, and Anthony Stewart coming up. Baker struck out his last time up, one of five strikeouts for Ryan Thrasher. Thrasher a tough first inning where he walked three and gave up that three-run home run to Bo McClintock, but really settling down since then. Thrasher delivers. Curveball, potential double play, 6-4. And unable to turn three with the speedy Baker hurrying to first. So Baker reaches on a fielder's choice and a runner advances to third as well. Eighty-one pitches for Thrasher thus far. Rankin moves on to third base. Rankin at third, runners on the corners, top of the order, and Anthony Stewart. Stewart striking out and walking in his previous two at plate endeavors. Two away here. First pitch, curveball. Nice looking curveball coming from Thrasher there. So a rough start for the native of Sherwood Park, Ryan Thrasher, but settling down since then. Thrasher. That ball gets away from the catcher, and Spencer Rankin is going to make his way home, and that one actually hits Stewart, ruling that that one got the shoes. So Rankin will head back to third. Bases will be loaded. Stewart hit by a pitch to load the bases, and now Ethan Hunter to the plate. Two away, bases loaded. Top of the fourth, and 3 nothing Swift Current. So this is a key at bat now. And what happens here could be significant in this contest. Base hit could potentially score two here as Thrasher up to Hunter, about letter high. The lead for the 57s is three, but with the bases loaded here, so it could really blow things open. Pitch up high, two and one. Tough to make out the grip of Ryan Thrasher on the baseball. Almost looks like a knuckleball type delivery as goes low and away on that fastball. Get the ball on the plate, guys. So a walk brings in a run here. Three out to Hunter. Strike Called strike one. Three balls, one strike. Three balls, one strike. Base is loaded. Three one count. Fouled back. Fouled back. Three and two. Suspenseful moment now. Bases loaded. Cardinals can get out of this situation. You have to think that that'll give them life if Swift Current scores runs here. Opposite effect. Cardinals already trailing three. What happens next could be a potential turning point in this one. 3 2. That was way up. Pitch up, and that catcher has so far to go to get balls that go over top of him as there's so much distance between the home plate and the backstop. Spencer Rankin comes in to score. Walk issued to Hunter, and it's a 4 nothing lead for the Swift Current 57s. And the ominous bat of Brian Benz at the plate. Benz already with a huge play defensively, making a catch in left field that he had to sprint to track down. Made an over-the-shoulder catch and then hit the wall whilst doing so, depriving Dylan Champagne of an extra base hit. So Benz with a run score to walk and a strikeout thus far. Bases loaded for Benz. And a 4-0 lead for the 57s here in the top of the fourth. 
Three of those bright orange jerseys on the basis. Curve ball to Ben, strike one. Thrasher's thrown that curve ball effectively at times. And Thrasher here in the fourth inning about to uncork pitch number 90 of his game. Swing and a miss. Nothing and two the count. Thrasher trying to limit the damage to just one and Houdini himself out of some trouble here with the bases loaded and the heart of the order up for the 57s. Ben's thought about the high heat and chasing after it. One ball, two strikes. One, two count to Ben's. Low and away, Ben's takes and two and two. And Thrasher uh, thought he had the uh, strike out there. Two, two two count, base is loaded. Four nothing Swift Current, top of the fourth inning. Bo McClintock, who's got a home run, is on deck. Two balls, two strikes. Ryan Thrasher. Fastball up. Loading the count. Ninety-four pitches delivered by Thrasher thus far. Creatures stirring in the Yorkton Cardinals bullpen. Three-two pitch. Benz hits that deep hit back, and the left fielder getting underneath it. Ryan Nemi is there. Well, Brian Benz flying out to left, a ball that looked great off the bat head, but then just died out in left field. So the Cardinals give up one, but the 57's unable to cash in a bases loaded situation. It's a 4 nothing lead for the Swift Current 57's. Bottom of fourth, coming up. This is Swift Current 57's baseball for Crop Production Services and Living Sky Casino. At Crop Production Services, we're on in our commitment to farming. As in, it's on, lights on, game on on this day and every day. Because through seeding, spraying, and harvest, on isn't an option. It's a marathon of on for farmers. On track, on time, always on. Like CPS in your community. So much riding on your farm. So many ways to profit from our experience. Bring it on. CPS, we're with you. Welcome back to Swift Current 57's Baseball. Glad you could join us. We're here in Yorkton tonight. Happy weekend, everybody. It's Ryan Schweitzer bringing you Crop Production Services and Living Sky Casino. 57's Baseball, Swift with a 4-0 lead, a three-run home run by Bo McClintock in the top of the first. And Swift Current scrapping their way across the plate for one in the fourth to get this 4-0 lead. Zach Bravo's been good for the 57's. Three innings of work, facing nine batters, striking out one along the way. Yorkton Cardinals, second time through the order now, facing Zach Bravo in the Swift Current 57's defense. Home plate umpire telling the Yorkton crew here to get those lights on. Thyrus Jones, 0 for 1, 238 on the season. Speedy outfielder, his second time facing Zach Bravo. That's fouled off. Thirty-seven pitches to get through three innings for Zach Bravo. Good low pitch count, and the Yorkton Cardinals are going to get their first base runner via the bunt. 
Zach Bravo. Perfect through three. And a bunt that just died right before it rolled out of bounds gives the Yorkton Cardinals their first base runner. So Thyrus Jones blemishes perfection for Zach Bravo here in the fourth inning. Bunt single, and Thyrus Jones is someone who can make things happen out there on the bases. He's got some speed in the 57s, and Zach Bravo will be keeping an eye on him. Jones, one stolen base on the young season. Thyrus, on with the one single. Bravo. Sees that pitch cued foul by Jace Wilson, who's 0 for 1 this game. Everyone 0 for 1 for the Cardinals. The first time through the order as the lights are fired up here at Cardinal Field in Jubilee Park here in Yorkton. 57s will be back here next Monday and Tuesday. Not this coming Monday and Tuesday, but a week from as Thyrus Jones checked over at first. Textbook bunt laid down by Jones to get himself to first. Bravo. Fastball, Jones in motion. Throw to second base on time. Waiting for him with a cup of coffee. Spencer Rankin on time and on target. Thyrus Jones erased from the equation. At second base. Looked like he got a good jump, but not enough. Not enough. Catcher and shortstop right where they needed to be. So one down here. But the ball was on the money. and uh... Curveball stays up. Cyrus Jones attempting to swipe his second bag of the year. This one's deep but foul. Hit into foul territory. And no one will be able to get to that as it's just sent over top of the Swift Current bullpen. Jace has been showing us a little bit of power up there at that bat. Um, Jace Wilson, 190 on the year. Capable infielder. Colin Kellington, the shortstop, three hole on deck. Zach Bravo not taking much time between pitches. Curveball. Will Baker, four, three, two away. So Colin Kellington now with another turn. 200 batting average on the air. Zach Bravo, three and two thirds, allowing one hit, that bunt single, striking out one along the way. Forty seventh pitch of the ball game by Bravo is fouled over top of the Swift Current fifty sevens dugout. Right in front of the snack shack where a couple of young Yorktonians were waiting for that baseball. Are hoping to turn the lights on here too now. Fastball in. Get things going. One ball, one strike. One and one count here to Kellington. Short stop from Couple Chilliwack, BC. Players doing tomorrow for the uh, cards. And uh, on Sunday as well. So we're we're gonna be up to Bravo. Working quickly as Kellington chases after the always seductive high fastball. Fastball from Bravo. Had Bravo on the radar gun in Moose Jaw when he pitched there. Fastball, 86-87 from Bravo. Hitting that area. Flies straight up and just over top of the backstop. Over top of our location here. Pitch number 50 from Bravo. Just misses inside. Ball four. First walk of the game issued by the 57 starter. So now Ryan Nimi. Nimi a 368 hitter, so someone that Swift will have to be aware of here. 
came and flew up to uh, center field for a time. Back in the second inning. First pitch to Nimi. No Right-handed pitcher against a lefty hitter. The pitch going across the plate, just above the green shoes of the Cardinals' Ryan Nimi. Catcher Zanuto waits in the wings, outside from Bravo. Two balls and no strikes. 2-0 count. Well hit ball by Nimi. That's driven into the gap in right center. Cardinals are going to send the runner as galloping home. And scoring is Kellington. So Ryan Nimi with a double that brings in a run, and the Cardinals are on the board. It's 4-1 here in the bottom of the fourth. Colin Kellington running like people were chasing him all the way home. So a walk and a run scored for the shortstop for the Cardinals. So the Cardinals getting one back here in the fourth. Now 4-1 Swift Current lead. Zach Bravo working to Zanuto. Zanuto 0 for 1, 176 on the year. Runner on at second, Ryan Nimi. Not Ryan, Ryan as in Sandbury. One across here in the fourth for the cards. Bravo. Down low. Fastball. Just that misses. Makes it count two, two balls and one strike. Two and one the count. Bravo. Looks Nimi. Fly ball. Popped up. Dawson Tate in front of the Cardinals dugout makes the catch. And that'll do it. The Cards will strand one and score one. Ryan Nimi with an RBI double that brought in a run. Four innings in the books. Top of five coming up. 4-1 in favor of the Swift Current 57s. They'll be on the sticks when we return with 57s Baseball, brought to you by Crop Production Services and Living Sky Casino. When planning your Swift Current stay, call the Days Inn. Just a short walk from Living Sky Casino and a few minutes from world-class golf, Days Inn offers free Wi-Fi, a continental breakfast to go with newly renovated rooms. Ask about suites with kitchenettes, unwind in the jacuzzi suite. If you're driving a large truck, no problem. There's lots of free parking. The Days Inn is home to locally renowned meeting and banquet facilities as well. Call 306-773-4623. The Days Inn, the host hotel. Hotel for the Swift Current 57s. Welcome back to Swift Current 57s Baseball. New pitcher on the mound for the Yorkton Cardinals as Austin Skellhorn gets his number called. Almost 100 pitches thrown by Ryan Thrasher, so he is relieved here as we head to the top of the fifth inning. Skellhorn, two appearances, one start. He's only worked two innings. He's allowed six hits, 11 runs, all of them earned, striking out three and walking five with a 38.50 ERA, which he will certainly look to lower here at the expense of the Swift Current 57s. Bo McClintock will lead off for Swift here. Ryan Thrasher, that first inning, really coming back to haunt him. Threw some good innings for the Cardinals, though. Four innings of work for Thrasher. One hit, four runs, three of them earned, striking out five, walking six, facing 21. So five strikeouts, six walks, and four innings. Bo McClintock with a three-run home run this game. McClintock, Tate, Binsfield do up for Swift Current here in the top of the fifth inning. 4-1 lead for Swift Current. Austin Skellhorn from Aurora, Ontario induces a foul ground ball from McClintock. Nothing in one count.
No balls, one strike. So one swing of the bat, three RBI for Bo. Two at bats, a home run and a walk in this one for the Oregonian, McClintock. McClintock hits that one way up in the air to right field. Landon McDougal makes the catch. Or Logan McDougal, rather. Towering fly ball from McClintock that I'm sure they picked up at Yorkton International Airport on their instruments. Dawson Tate, he's hitting 231 on the air. 0 for 1 walking, and he flew out in his previous trips to the plate. Skelhorn, right handed pitcher. Only defensive substitution is bringing in Skelhorn, who's got some heat on that fastball. Just missing outside to Tate with one down here, top of the fifth inning, and a 4-1 lead for the Swift Current 57s, who are back to Swift after tonight, after overnighting in Yorkton. They'll be back in their billet beds tonight. And then off to Maple Creek for select members of the 57s, as they're going to be doing a baseball clinic tomorrow there, helping out. And then they host Regina on Sunday. And then a week of home games for the 57s. Tate ground ball foul. Sunday, Regina, they play them at 2.05. Monday, Fort McMurray is in town, 7.05. Okotoks, Tuesday at 7.05. Whenever the Swift Current 57s and the Okotoks dogs meet up, there's always a story to be told there. Two longtime franchises in the league that have had a lot of success, Swift Current and Okotoks. Okotoks, the Calgary Dogs, before moving to Okotoks prior to the 07 season. They play Melville Thursday and Friday. Tate thought about chasing low and away. Strike called. So home game Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then Saturday hosting Fort Mac. And then Swift Current back to Yorkton again for two more games. So four road games in a row here at Cardinal Field in Yorkton. Four road games spread over 12 days in Yorkton. And then Swift Current will be done with Yorkton in terms of coming to this park barring any playoff appearances after next Tuesday, a week from this Tuesday. Tate, ground ball. Kellington, off to first. And that's the second out of the top of the fifth. So now JB to the plate, 0 for 2 this game, 300 batting average on the season. Binsfield, a night off last night. Ground ball. Again, hit to Kellington on the backhand and over to first, and that's a great play by the shortstop, Colin Kellington, to get the 6-3 out. Three up, three down for the 57s, top of the fifth inning. They still lead it 4-1, and they'll try and keep it that way when we return with the bottom of the fifth inning. This is Swift Current 57s Baseball, brought to you by Crop Production Services and Living Sky Casino. At The Hearing Place, we're making a positive difference in the lives of our clients' hearing health. We are a full-time, fully licensed hearing health care facility. Our goal is to improve and maintain our clients' hearing health with personal attention and ongoing support. As an audiologist with more than 15 years experience, I work with clients of all ages, including toddlers and newborns. This is not only my vocation, but my passion. When you come into the hearing place, you will receive a complete diagnostic hearing evaluation using state-of-the-art equipment. We talk about the specific reasons for your visit and the hearing situations you find most difficult. We then discuss the hearing options that are right for you, your budget, and your lifestyle. The end goal is to ensure you leave with the knowledge and confidence about your future of hearing health. 
The Hearing Place. For more information, visit www.thehearingplace.ca. Sitting by uh, by Austin Stillhorn, he had a a nightmare out in uh, Moose Jaw, I believe it was. Nightmare started his, his uh, WMDL career, but this is we knew he had we we knew he was better than that, and uh, get a nice one two three inning here for the uh, cards. This is shot, gonna drop, no, it yeah. does too. Right on. Bottom of the school to left field, that brings to the point of the H, number 20, Dylan Champagne. So Gage Buck. It's a solid single. Strike one. No balls, one strike. Good idea. One. one ball, one strike. Buck on, on first. This one's fouled over the sound booth. One ball, two strikes. Up high. That evens the count. Two balls and two strikes. And it's foul to play again. Came so close to putting that ball out of here earlier on. This was straight back at us. And uh, robbed of their. Put you on the DL, hey, from the SES DL. And Brian Benz out there. And, uh, one away. That's one away. Stands in. 0 for 1, ground up, back in the uh, third. So one away. Gage Buck at first base. Fastball outside. One ball, no strikes. Right up the middle. Oh, oh great wow. play by the second baseman. Wow. That's baseball. My goodness, they, they catch the uh, uh, four six three double play. That's one of the prettiest uh, one, double zero. plays we've oh, seen one, in a while. Zero, zero. No runs, one so hit. four six three. No three. Four six three double play. And uh, Will Baker initiating that play. That was excellent. Did you see that one, Ryan? Yeah. Yeah. At Crop Production Services, we're on in our commitment to farming. As in, it's on, lights on, game on. On this day and every day. Because through seeding, spraying, and harvest, on isn't an option. It's a marathon of on for farmers. On track, on time, always on. Like CPS in your community. So much riding on your farm. So many ways to profit from our experience. Bring it on. CPS, we're with you.
When you need to unwind, visit Smiley's Lounge at the Days Inn Swift Current. Smiley's offers daily food specials and a full menu. Ask about their daily homemade soup and a wide variety of wings. Need something to go? Visit their off sale, selling cold beer, hard liquor, wine and coolers, and all the ice you need. Need takeout or a catering service? Call 306-778-4600. Smiley's Lounge, North Service Road East, Swift Current. A scintillating double play ends the fifth inning. We're in the top of the sixth. Will Baker and Ethan Hunter. Here we go, folks. Showing some chemistry for the Swift Current 57s infield. Just a dynamite 4-6-3 double play depriving the Yorkton Cardinals of a base hit. It looked like a well-hit ball up the middle, but Baker engineering that double play. Ground ball by Spencer Rankin hit to first. Gage Buck, unassisted put out over at first. And now Cade Burdett to the plate. It's Ryan Schweitzer bringing you the balls and strikes from Jubilee Park in Yorkton, Cardinals Field here. Four one lead for the Swift Current 57s here in the top of the sixth inning. Austin Skellhorn, pitcher for the Cardinals, his second inning of work. Skellhorn thus far, one and a third, facing four batters. No runs, no hits, no walks, no strikeouts. Nothing earned against him. Zach Bravo, five innings of work thus far. He's allowed only three hits. One earned run, striking out two and walking one. He's faced 17 thus far. Cade Burdett takes on a fastball low and away. Righty on righty. Two and one the count to Burdett, native of Las Vegas. Not like last night. Last night was just, it was a steady wind and it was, it was heavy duty all. Skellhorn induces a swinging strike from Burdett. Evens it up at two balls, two strikes. 57s in their new third jerseys. They got the orange tops to go with the orange pants. The orange jumpsuit look for Swift Kurtz. Trying something new for this season. Burdett goes down swinging as he's buying what Skellhorn is selling. Strike three. Burdett with some words of wisdom to Will Baker as he heads back to the dugout. So Will Baker, 0 for 2, reaching on a fielder's choice, striking out in his previous at-plate endeavors, and part of that 4-6-3 double play just moments ago. So Baker feeling good as he heads to the plate. Skellhorn, fast ball, one hopper, pulled out of the dirt by catcher Matt Zanuto. Austin Skellhorn pitching to Zanuto. Gage Buck at first. Jace Wilson at second. Colin Kellington at short. Chris Cook at third. Ryan Nimi in left. Thyrus Jones in center. And in right field, Logan McDougal. Two and one count right now to Will Baker. Skellhorn fastball, Baker, ground ball, chop foul down the third baseline. So two and two the count now. We've got two down here in the top of the sixth inning, a game that's just cruising right along. As Skellhorn winds and delivers, Baker cues that off the bat head. Two balls, two strikes. It's always been a bit of a pitcher's ballpark, you know. So there's a out in uh, Deadway Center Field. We got a white background on a building out there. High fly ball by Baker. 
Cyrus Jones. Cyrus Jones, the center fielder, makes the catch. And it's a three up, three down inning for the Swift Current 57s. As Will Baker flies out to eight. Bottom of six coming up, and it's still a 4 1 lead for the Swift Current 57s. We'll be back shortly with more 57s baseball for CPS and LSC. At Crop Production Services, we're on in our commitment to farming. As in, it's on, lights on, game on. On this day and every day. Because through seeding, spraying, and harvest, on isn't an option. It's a marathon of on for farmers. On track, on time, always on. Like CPS in your community. So much riding on your farm. So many ways to profit from our experience. Bring it on. CPS, we're with you. And now, a message from your stomach. Hey, the workday's over and it's time to eat and I need some real good food. Some real good food from Houston Pizza. They've got savory ribs, souvlaki, steak, chicken, Greek or Caesar salad, and of course, that delicious pizza. Everything's made fresh daily. For dine-in, pickup, or delivery at Houston Pizza, you get real good food. Houston Pizza's got lots of real good Welcome back to Swift Current 57's Baseball. Zach Bravo getting set for another inning of work here at Cardinal Field in New Yorkton. Bravo, five innings of work, three hits, one earned run, striking out two and walking one. He's faced 17 Cardinal batters. Austin Skellhorn, perfect through two innings in relief for the Cardinals, striking out one, facing six batters. Ground ball, McDougal, Ethan Hunter on the run, baby. Nice 6-3 by the Swift Current 57 shortstop, and this middle infield is becoming very fun to watch. Hunter and Baker. If you want to win in the WNBL and pretty much any competitive baseball league, but needing a good shortstop is non-negotiable, and Ethan Hunter is that for the 57s. Ball belted up the middle by Thyrus Jones. Jones enthusiastically rounds first before putting the brakes on as Anthony Stewart tracks that ball down in center field. 57's fortunate last year to capture a championship after losing their starting shortstop. They had Grant Van Scoy in the lineup. And he went down to injury just prior to the playoffs, so they had to take Brett Esau, who's primary position was third base stick him at short and few mistakes were made few balls kicked but the 57s at the end of the day ended up getting a championship hung there Esau making some big plays throughout the playoffs including the final out of game number five ground ball unassisted out to Esau at second base but if you want to win in this league, you need to have a good shortstop. Ethan Hunter is that. A swinging bunt, essentially, from Jace Wilson. The swinging bunt can be effective, and that one did so in advancing Thyrus Jones. Two down, runner on its second. So Colin Kellington now. Run scored. Who's walked? Kellington walked and then was hit home by Ryan Nimi. Nimi with a double that scored Kellington all the way from first. Bravo. Just missing low. 76 pitches from the right hand of Zach Bravo to get us to the bottom of the sixth inning with two away. 4-1 lead for the 57s. Check swing by Kellington, strike called, one and one the count. 
Bravo pitching to Spencer Rankin, Bo McClintock at first, Will Baker at second, Ethan Hunter at short, Dawson Tate at third, Brian Benz in left field, Anthony Stewart in center, Jared Binsfield is in right, curveball up and in, and a two and one count, or three one rather. Kellington awaits the delivery from Bravo. Swatted foul. Full count, runner at second. See Thyrus Jones, top left of your screen. Another foul ball for a young Yorktonian to zero in on and trade in for a shiny dollar. I agree there, DR. It's, uh, you know, things are, once we get some more players in here, and we can give arms a bit of a rest. And, and, uh, Bravo looks Jones at second, and another foul ball from team, Kellington. And uh, our record thus far doesn't, doesn't really... Uh, Yorkton Cardinals looking for an elusive first win on the season. And they'll all come at once. It, it, uh, things will turn around and say, whoa. Yorkton 14 players right now. Swift rolling in with more than 20, so Yorkton's still waiting for some players to get here. They've had to piecemeal a roster together. But there is a quiet confidence here in southeast Saskatchewan that once everyone arrives, that this could be a team that could do some damage. Elsewhere in the WNBL, Edmonton Prospects, 3-2 lead on Fort McMurray. Curveball, and Kellington's going to get a walk here. Second time that he's got the base on balls treatment this game. So runners on at first and second. So Ryan Nemi. Nemi scored Kellington the last time he was up with a double that he hit to right center. Edmonton leading Fort McMurray 3-2 at Remax Field in the top of the fifth. Bottom of the fifth inning, Okotoks with a 3-1 lead on the Lethbridge Bulls in Lethbridge. Lethbridge only 1-5 to start the year. Uncharacteristic of that historically successful franchise. Melville Millionaires leading the Weyburn Beavers 2-1 in Melville. And Medicine Hat in the bottom of the fourth with an 18 nothing lead on the Moose Jaw Miller Express. Opposite field shot into left. Brian Benz is there, and not this time for Ryan Nemi. As he flies out to seven, two are stranded, none come in to score, six in the books, and it's 4-1 for the Swift Current 57s. We'll be back, top of the seventh inning, momentarily. This is Swift Current 57s Baseball, brought to you by Crop Production Services and Living Sky Casino. At Crop Production Services, we're on in our commitment to farming. As in, it's on, lights on, game on. On this day and every day. Because through seeding, spraying, and harvest, on isn't an option. It's a marathon of on for farmers. On track, on time, always on. Like CPS in your community. So much riding on your farm. So many ways to profit from our experience. Bring it on. CPS, we're with you. Welcome back to Swift Current 57's Baseball, brought to you by Crop Production Services and Living Sky Casino. Yeah, how about that out-of-town scoreboard in Medicine Hat at Athletic Park? The Moose Jaw Miller Express going into Med Hat with a 6-0 record, and Medicine Hat is leading them 18-0 in the bottom of the fourth inning. So Moose Jaw, 6-0 to start the year. Swift Current, this is their eighth game of the season. They lead the WNBL in games played. They're looking for their third win, 2-5 and five coming into this one. Yorkton Cardinals 0-5. Oh this winless team in Yorkton coming close last night. Had they not committed seven errors, perhaps it would have been a different outcome for them. 
But when you have pitchers playing in the infield and hitting in key spots in the lineups, it's tough to win ball games. So there's reasons to be optimistic if you're a Yorkton fan. As Anthony Stewart getting set to lead off here. Austin Skellhorn, two innings of work, six up, six down thus far, as Swift Current hasn't been able to get anyone on base since Skellhorn was deployed. Thrasher went four innings. Ryan Thrasher, the starter, struck out five, walked six. Four runs allowed, three of them earned, and only one hit. And it was a home run off the bat of Bo McClintock. In that first inning alone, he walked three and gave up that three-run dinger. So the 57s with a 4-1 lead, despite only having one hit this ball game. Scalhorn, strike called. Yorkton's got some guys that can pitch. Thrasher touched up in the first, but settled down after that. Andrew Cisneros was good last night for the Cardinals, as was Owen Steele. So the Cardinals, you know, they're a team that once they get everybody here and everyone's able to do their job and play their role, pitching might be the bread and butter of this southeastern Saskatchewan-based team. Top of the seventh. Skellhorn. Ground ball. High hopper. Nicely played. Wilson, 4-3 ground out. So Ethan Hunter to the plate. 4-1 lead for the 57s and a three-run home run. It doesn't feel like a game where the 57s have only had one hit, but that's the way the cookie crumbles here. And Ethan Hunter is going to try and get a bunt down and bunt his way on base, and he will do so as that is airmailed over top of the first baseman. Hunter is going to scamper to second. He better get down. And Hunter out at second. Or safe at two. So he reaches on a infield, or on a single rather. So an infield single, and then an E1 advances Hunter to second base. So the first blemish on the record of Skellhorn. And Brian Benz at the plate. Benz 0 for 2 with a run scored. Walk, and he struck out. Benz now hitting an even 300 on the season. One on for Benz and one away. 57s with a 4-1 lead, looking for some insurance here. Benz, swing and a miss, change up. Benz was expecting something with a little more heat on it. Swing and a miss by the native of Arlington, Texas. Runner looked at second. Skellhorn inside to Benz. Benz contacting this one just above the handle of the bat. And sent fouled along the third base line. Two strikes against Benz. Bo McClintock is on deck. Benz goes oppo like taco. That's hit deep. And that's going to hit off the wall. Benz rounding second. Hunt er, Hunter's going to score. Benz is going to get a double. RBI double by Brian Benz, and it's a 5-1-57's lead. So Benz doubles, Hunter scores, and the 57s go up four. It's 5-1 Swifty. Swift current five, and you guys won. 
Bo McClintock. And now McClintock at the plate, runner in scoring position, Walking and but one ball. away. Fastball catches the outside corner. No balls, one strike. So a good job by Ethan Hunter, a pitcher that the 57s were having a hard time getting some offense off of. He gets that bunt down, and they elect to throw to third and get the runner there, the Cardinals do. So McClintock bunts his way on base, reaches on a fielder's choice as Brian Benz is tagged out at third. Heads up play there by Skellhorn. But Ethan Hunter... Got that bunt down, got to second, and then cashed in by Benz. Fouled off by Tate. Somebody likes those nice green shoes that uh, uh, McClintock. McClintock right? Scalhorn inside to Tate, who has to back that thing up to get out of the way of that baseball that was coming in hot. One right at the knees. Tate, opposite field shot, foul down the third baseline. Three balls, two strikes. See, there's no shortage of foul territory here at Cardinal Field. Three balls, two strikes. Dawson Tate, full count. Austin Skellhorn delivers to Swift's third baseman. McClintock in motion, but a walk issued to Tate. Bo will advance to second. So two down, Jared Binsfield to the plate. And two on. Swift Current's already plating one this inning. Top of seven is where we are, and it's 5-1 in favor of the 57s, who are looking for their first win in the bright orange new third jerseys that they have for this year. Binsfield, number six hitter in Swift's batting order. Just Fastball low and away. Jared hitting 286 on the year. One ball, no strength. <laughs> Once again, checking that out of town scoreboard. Bottom of the fourth inning, Medicine Hat Mavericks now with a 20 to nothing lead on the Moose Jaw Miller Express. Moose Jaw rolling into that game unbeaten at 6 and 0. Oh. And that's a taste of adversity for Michael Hunt's team out of the friendly city. Everything going the way of Med Hat in southeastern Alberta. And that's chopped off. Bottom of the fourth in that 20 nothing game. I just saw your comment there, uh, QC on the, on the new uniforms of the uh, Swift Current Ball Club. I'm not picking on the 57s, but I have to think even the players think those uniforms are... No, that looks like prison guard, that's all. Wind up in the delivery. Binsfield takes. Runners on at first and second here, two away. Swift Current with a 5-1 lead. Trying to get a little bit more insurance as we head into the twilight innings of this game. Binsfield, inside pitch, jamming him. Don't adjust your computer monitors or anything. Those are the new Swift Current 57's third jerseys this year. Swift Current changing their look. To go along with a new name last year, going with green as a primary color, orange as a secondary color, but Joe Carnahan going with the 
orange primary third jerseys. Players on the team love them. As Binsfield sends a shot in foul territory, and that's going to be past the Swift Current 57's dugout. Yeah, those new uniforms in Swift Current have certainly got people talking. Swift Current fans seem to like them. The players seem to enjoy them. There's no mistaking Swift Current. One thing about that green and orange color scheme is there's not a lot of other baseball programs on the prairies with those colors. So Swift Current Minor Ball also adopting the 57's name and going with the same colors. So when you have the out-of-town tournaments, the Swift Current folks are always recognizable in the green and orange, often wearing the bright orange hats and jerseys. It's a good recognizable look as a walk is going to load the bases here. Binsfield taking and three on. And the 57s who are often accused of looking like a group of inmates are threatening a jailbreak here. As Spencer Rankin comes to the plate with the sacks juiced here in the seventh and Swift Current up 5-1. And assistant coach Brady Hole of the Yorkton Cardinals, the former player in Swift Current, is going to make his way out. Brady, of course, a member of that 2010 championship coach team. Joe Carnahan's first championship as a player, or as a coach, rather, was in 2010. Nobody's warming up at all, so. Brady Hole going to have a quick convo here with Austin Skellhorn. Forty-six pitches by Skellhorn in two and a third innings of work. He came in and Cruz got the first six outs that he faced, but fifty-sevens with some disciplined at bats and bunting their way on base have put up a run against him, and now the base is loaded here in the top of the seventh. Two so away Spencer for Rankin. Spencer Rankin. You've got to get to Spencer and uh, get out of here with just the one run. Rankin two hundred ground ball. Picked up by the shortstop, and Colin Killington with a nice 6-3, and the 57s leave the bases loaded as Rankin grounds out to short, but Swift Current does put one more on the board. Bottom of seven coming up. It's a four-run lead for our 57s. 5-1, bottom of Seb on the way. When planning your Swift Current stay, call the Days Inn. Just a short walk from Living Sky Casino and a few minutes from world-class golf, Days Inn offers free Wi-Fi, a continental breakfast to go with newly renovated rooms. Ask about suites with kitchenettes, unwind in the jacuzzi suite. If you're driving a large truck, no problem. There's lots of free parking. The Days Inn is home to locally renowned meeting and banquet facilities as well. Call 306-773-4623. The Days Inn, the host hotel for the Swift Current 57s. At the Hearing Place, we are making a positive difference in the lives of our clients' hearing health. We are a full-time, fully licensed hearing health care facility. Our goal is to improve and maintain our clients' hearing health with personal attention and ongoing support. As an audiologist with more than 15 years experience, I work with clients of all ages, including toddlers and newborns. This is not only my vocation, but my passion. When you come into the hearing place, you will receive a complete diagnostic hearing evaluation using state-of-the-art equipment. We talk about the specific reasons for your visit and the hearing situations you find most difficult. We then discuss the hearing options that are right for you, your budget, and your lifestyle. The end goal is to ensure you leave with the knowledge and confidence about your future of hearing health. The Hearing Place. For more information, visit www.thehearingplace.ca. And welcome back to Swift Current 57's Baseball, the webcast, our fourth year of 
doing this webcast to bring you the Swift Current 57s, doing the road games. We started doing just the road games last season and doing that this year. And if the Swift Current 57s are fortunate enough to play in the postseason, we will have every playoff game home and away for you. Zach Bravo on the mound. Six innings of work thus far. He's allowed four hits, one earned run, striking out two, and walking two. 86 pitches for Bravo. Right field, Binsfield, catch, one away. That was Matt Zanuto at the plate, who flies out to nine, and now Gage Buck, the first baseman, comes to the plate. Gage Buck to the plate. Ball is fouled out of play. Buck swinging at the changeup from Zach Bravo. 0 2 count. Bravo closing in on 90 pitches. Six and a third innings of work thus far. Another ball fouled out. Gage Buck is one for two. Bravo only allowing four hits thus far. One ball, two strikes. One, two count. Bravo. Goes with the heat. Check swing. Yes, he did. And that's strikeout number three on the game for Bravo. Two down here, bottom of the seventh. Swift Current 57s boarding the bus after this one. Four hours back to Swift Current. Home games coming up for Swift Current. A heavy homestand beginning this Sunday against Regina. And then home games Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Fort McMurray in town a couple times. So is Okotoks. Curveball from Bravo called strike. Dylan Champagne, 118 on the season. Champagne belts another one to left field, and again, Brian Benz is there. Champagne, he can pull balls to left. Second time he's been put out loudly, Champagne has. Another fly out to seven, so three up, three down. Zach Bravo and the Swift Current 57s cruising through seven. Top of eight coming up, 5-1 Swift. More 57s baseball after these messages. At Crop Production Services, we're on in our commitment to farming. As in, it's on, lights on, game on, on this day and every day. Because through seeding, spraying, and harvest, on isn't an option. It's a marathon of on for farmers. On track, on time, always on. Like CPS in your community. So much riding on your farm. So many ways to profit from our experience. Bring it on. CPS, we're with you. When you need to unwind, visit Smiley's Lounge at the Days Inn Swift Current. Smiley's offers daily food specials and a full menu. Ask about their daily homemade soup and a wide variety of wings. Need something to go? Visit their off sale, selling cold beer, hard liquor, wine and coolers, and all the ice you need. Need takeout or a catering service? Call 306-778-4600. Smiley's Lounge, North Service Road East, Swift Current. Hey, we're back with more Swift Current 57's Baseball brought to you by Crop Production Services and Living Sky Casino. It's Ryan Schweitzer in Yorkton. Nice post-game meal at Joe Beaver's last night. If you like poutine and you're ever in the Yorkton area, 
Joe Beavers. No need to tell him Ryan sent you. They have no idea who I am. Cade Burdett at the plate. Will Baker is on deck in this 8-9-1 inning for the 57s. Anthony Stewart, top of the order. Burdett swings. Cade 0 for 2 in this one. Fastball, just missing low to Burdett. Count two and one, Austin Skellhorn. Burdett stays alive in this exchange by fouling that into the backstop. Tonight we're all ready for it. We've got the jackets out. 57's 5-1 lead on the strength of only three hits. Two errors committed by the Cardinals tonight. Curveball caught Burdett looking. And a called strike three sends the native of Las Vegas back to the dugout. Will Baker. 0 for 3 this game for the number nine hitter. Will Baker stands in the uh, flash of second baseman for the 57. Infielder Baker gets that bunt down. He's scampering to first, and he's there in time. Will Baker scurrying to first after getting that bunt down, and it's a bunt single for the infielder. Brings up Anthony Stewart. So we got one on and one down here. Swift up 5-1 and looking for a little bit more insurance. Anthony Baker will try and fifth, uh, advance Will Baker. Fifth play appearance to, uh, tonight. Back to first base. Baker checked over at first. Good quick pickoff move there by move the Yorkton base. pitcher, Skellhorn. Skellhorn, three and a third innings of work, three hits. One earned run, striking 0-2 and walking two. Stewart and 0 for tonight. Anthony Stewart, 290 on the year, 0 for 2 thus far. He's walked this game in one of his previous at plate endeavors. Stewart steps out, gets communications via the signal from Joe Carnahan, coaching third base. Well, I think we're going to make hot chocolate tonight. Oh. And the pickoff throw to first. Careens into foul territory, and Will Baker's going to stand up at third. He moves all the way to third base on that uh, wild throw from... I don't even know who he's... Well, I guess pitcher error. Pickoff attempt. Runs amuck. And now some situational hitting for the 57s. Anthony Stewart, runner at third base. Empty bags at first and second. And only one away. Top of the order for the 57s. So a prime opportunity to have their 5-1 lead swell a little bit here. Ethan Hunter on deck. Cardinals infield is in. Wanting to keep everything in front of them. Strike called to Stewart. Called strike. It's one and two, the count. Mentioned last night, Anthony Stewart gets right up on that right toe. Part of the deal. That as well. Infield in, two strikes against Stewart. Skellhorn, outside. That's outside. And two and two. Two balls, two strikes. We're in the twilight innings of this one. Top of the eighth. tomorrow night, Regina Red Sox are in town. Another pitch outside to Stewart. Three balls, two strikes. Take the more stands there, Austin. 
So a 2-2 count, runner on at third. 5-1 lead for Swift. Outside, pardon me, 3-2 was the count. Now it's a walk to Stewart. Runners on the corners and one away. Out of town scoreboard, Fort McMurray and Edmonton tied at three at Remax Field, top of the seventh. Okotoks with a 3-2 lead on Lethbridge in Lethbridge. That's in the bottom of the seventh. Melville leads Weyburn, 2-1 in Melville and in Medicine Hat, top of the sixth inning. Medicine Hat Mavericks leading the Moose Jaw Miller Express, 22 to nothing. Single on the walk, scored a run tonight. Rough night for Moose Jaw going into Medicine Hat, 6-0. Moose Jaw not tasting adversity yet in 2018. They're getting a heap and helping of it in Med Hat. 22-0, Medicine Hat leading Moose Jaw. Swift Current leading Yorkton 5-1 here. Ethan Hunter trying to swell the 57's lead here and give them a little bit more insurance here in the 8th. Ground ball, potential double play, 6-4. And unable to turn two as it's thrown away and a run will come in to score. Ethan Hunter will advance to second base. Anthony Stewart moves to third. A run comes in to score, and it's 6-1 Swifty. And Brian bends to the plate now. So Hunter, uh, safe in the fielder's choice, advances to uh, second on the overthrow. And, uh, we'll be so, yeah, only one runner out there. That's second oh, base. So runners on uh, second and third. And Brian Benz. So Benz to the plate, swings and misses. No balls on strike. Two away. Brian Benz, one for three with a run scored. Has an RBI this game, his team leading eighth of the campaign. Eight games, eight runs batted in for Benz. Skellhorn, inside to Benz. That hops away from the catcher and scampering to third base is Ethan Hunter. Two down here in the top of the eighth inning. Skellhorn. Inside. Fastball into Benz. They were starting. Uh, um, what's his name that they got from Hamilton? He was, he, he was doing the first half, and they were going to go with uh, Scalhorn. That one hops away from the catcher. Hunter will stay put at third. Hunter stays where he As is. As that ball not bouncing uh, too far away from the catcher, Zanudo. Count three and one to Benz in this 6-1 lead for the 57s. Swift Current got rolling early, a three-run home run by Bo McClintock in the top of the first. Getting Swift Current strong out of the gate here. And 6-1 is where we find ourselves now after going up 3-0 early. Brian Benz awaiting a 3-1 pitch from Austin Skellhorn. Well, oh, not quite ball four yet. They got the old school wooden scoreboard here without balls and strikes, so sometimes we have to go by memory, and sometimes the memory isn't quite what it used to be as Benz fouls that one off himself. Ben's taking a moment. There's the scoreboard staff here in Yorkton. 
Nice breezy night keeping the mosquitoes at bay. Otherwise, it would be a tough night out there in the outfield for those folks working the scoreboard. It's a unique view of the game. There's going to be at least a one put up in the eighth inning for the 57s on that scoreboard in the not-too-distant future. Ryan Benz. There's ball four. So Bo McClintock, who already has a three-run home run this game, has the opportunity for another one. Guards coach Johnny Farrington coming out to have a chat with his pitcher. We've referenced it earlier that Yorkton is short on bodies right now, waiting for some more players to arrive, so perhaps some words of encouragement to help get Skellhorn through the remainder of this one. Nobody up in the Cardinal bullpen. Skellhorn 67 pitches thus far. That one misses as well. First pitch to Bo McClintock, misses the strike zone. And a 1-0 count to Bo with two away here. Runners on the corners. Bo McClintock, runners at first and third. Benz and Hunter at first and third, respectively, as McClintock fouls one out of the park. Inside to Bo. Two balls, one strike. Good good. Good. We get a groan from the uh, crowd on, on that one. Two and one. And then, two balls, one strike. Bo pointing his bat out towards center field. Skellhorn. Fly ball by Bo. That's it way up there. It's hit above the lights here in New Yorkton, but the right fielder Logan McDougal has a fine beat on that baseball, and the 57s are going to strand a couple here, but they do get one across the plate. Bottom of eight coming up. 6 1 Swifty. More 57s baseball. We'll up in a moment. So the Swift here in the eighth and one run on one hit. Uh, two errors and uh, two left on base. At Crop Production Services, we're on in our commitment to farming. As in, it's on, lights on, game on, on this day and every day. Because through seeding, spraying, and harvest, on isn't an option. It's a marathon of on for farmers. On track, on time, always on. Like CPS in your community. So much riding on your farm. So many ways to profit from our experience. Bring it on. CPS, we're with you. And now, a message from your stomach. Hey, the workday's over and it's time to eat and I need some real good food. Some real good food from Houston Pizza. They've got savory ribs, souvlaki, steak, chicken, Greek or Caesar salad, and of course, that delicious pizza. Everything's made fresh daily. For dine-in, pickup, or delivery at Houston Pizza, you get real good food. Houston Pizza's got lots of real good food. And welcome back to Swift Current 57's Baseball. Aaron Pugh checks into the game to pitch for the 57's. Pugh, 6'1", 185, Jamestown College. Manitoba product coming in to pitch here. Pugh, one appearance, two innings of work. He did so as part of that 18-9 game in Regina. He allowed only one hit, one walk, struck out three, ERA of zero. So Pugh 
Very limited sample size of previous innings worked. Getting set to deal here, right-handed pitcher Pew, straight overhand delivery. Zach Bravo, seven innings of work, allowing only four hits, one earned run, striking out three and walking two. He faced 25 as Aaron Pugh, the righty, winds and fires a fastball up. Okay, guys, let's see if we can do something here. Aaron Pugh working against Chris Cook. Cook, Logan McDougal, and Thyrus Jones. 8-9-1 due up for the Cardinals here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Curveball from Pugh, and that hits pay dirt. Called strike. 6-1 lead for the Swift Current 57s here in Yorkton. Game number two of a two-game set. And Swift Current looking to string together successive wins for the first time in 2018 as they look to go 3-5 and five if they can hang on here. Pugh induces a fly ball. Binsfield chases after that, but Anthony Stewart just uh, as quick as a hiccup is where he needs to be. Anthony Stewart zeroing in on that baseball like a hawk on a field rodent. Logan McDougal, number nine hitter. Trying to keep his team alive here. Aaron Pugh fires that pitch in just a bit up. Pugh with the slow windup and then that violent overhand delivery, a rocket to left field. Brian Benz is there again, though. There he is. Benz quickly reacting to grab that line drive that was hit on a rope at him. And two quick outs for Aaron Pugh. Thyrus Jones to the plate. He's two for three this game, Jones is. He's been Yorkton's best offensive player in this two-game set. Thyrus Jones has. Aaron Pugh fires the fastball in, just missing low. Joe Carnahan trying to get as many pitchers in as he can as everyone looks to kind of figure out their roles here as that pitch is foul down the third baseline. Who's going to be the starters? Who's going to work the pen? Who's going to be the closer? A lot of those questions still up in the air for Joe and the 57's crew. Aaron Pugh coming in to show everyone what he can do. Way up high. Two balls, one strike. Pugh sails one over the catcher. Cyrus not afraid to uh, move in on that plate. He doesn't back, back away from it. Aaron Pugh. This one's up high. Just above the letters to Jones. Two balls, one strike. And it's a 3 1 count here. Top of the order. Bottom of the eighth. 6 1 Swift Current lead. Jones drills that into the backstop. And a full count now. Three balls, two strikes. Aaron Pugh, full count pitch, chopped foul Chop by Thyrus two. Jones. Holds it three and two. Jones out of Orlando, Florida, throws left and hits left. Center fielder for the cards. Swift current, 6-1 lead on the strength of four hits, and they've held the cards accountable in some ways for making four errors as well. It's been an 11 error series for the Cardinals. Seven last night, four tonight. Once Yorkton gets a full team, there's reason to be optimistic, but cards could very well fall to 0 and 6 on the year as Swift Current looks to go 3 and 5. Jones continues to battle with Aaron Pugh. 
here in the eighth. My, my dad coached your dad. Yeah. yeah. Swift Current with a 6-1 lead on Yorkton. Top of the eighth inning. Melville with a 2-1 lead on Weyburn. Also in the top of the eighth, the Okotoks Dogs lead the Lethbridge Bulls 4-2. Edmonton Prospects with a 5-4 lead on Fort McMurray at Remax Field in Edmonton. And the Moose Jaw Miller Express tops in the league with a 6-0 record. And a called strike three as Aaron Pugh gets Thyrus Jones looking. Curveball that just bit the outside corner of the plate. And Pugh strikes out Jones. Medicine Hat, as we were saying, leading Moose Jaw. 22-0. So that's in the top of seventh. Miller Express looking like they may taste defeat for the first time in 2018. 6-1 lead, eight innings in the books. Top of nine. Coming up, 57's baseball. At Crop Production Services, we're on in our commitment to farming. As in, it's on, lights on, game on. On this day and every day. Because through seeding, spraying, and harvest, on isn't an option. It's a marathon of on for farmers. On track, on time, always on. Like CPS in your community. So much riding on your farm. So many ways to profit from our experience. Bring it on. CPS, we're with you. Welcome back to Yorkton Cardinals baseball. Logan McDougal in to pitch for the Yorkton Cardinals in the top of the ninth. McDougal comes in from right field to pitch. So designated hitter Dylan Champagne will move to right field to finish this one up here. 6-1 lead for the Swift Current 57s here in the top of the ninth. Swift trying to nail down their third win of the year. For Champagne, that's his fourth position with the Cardinals. So Logan McDougal comes in to pitch. He's got one appearance, one inning of work. He's allowed a hit and an earned run. One strikeout, and he allowed a double with an ERA of seven in one inning of work. And for the Swift Current 57s, Dawson Tate is going to lead off. So barring any substitutions, Tate, the number five hitter in the lineup, 5-6-7, Tate, Binsfield, Rankin. Third base, right field, catcher, respectively. Dawson in this one, 0 for 2, with a couple of base on balls. Ground ball, hit to Kellington. And 6-3, Tate put out at first. Colin Kellington looks as sure-handed a shortstop as you'll see in this league. As he's done a good job of handling most of what's been hit his way. Jared Binsfield 0 for 3 with a walk, 286 batting average. Logan McDougal. Just a few degrees above sidearm on the delivery from McDougal. As that comes from significantly out right. Righty on righty. And that pitch drifting outside. Top of the ninth inning and 6 1 Swift Kurt. McDougal. Goes inside, called strike. McDougal with a, McDougal rather, with a, with a, a, a motion that's, I'd say it's not quite a sidearm, but he gets down fairly low on the, uh, on the delivery. McDougal. And, uh, Binsfield, hard hit ball to third. Good play by Cook at third to orchestrate a 5-3. Two down here. And now Spencer Rankin with two out here in the top of the ninth. Spencer Rankin stands in the catcher. Rankin 0 for 4 with a run scored. 
looking for his first base hit of the night. Zach Bravo, seven innings of work, allowing four hits, only one earned run, striking 0-3 and walking two, facing 25. Here's the pitch. Well, that was a breaking ball. Nice. Fly ball, that's going to get out of the ballpark. Zach Bravo and Bo McClintock will give them co-players of the game for tonight's efforts. Bo with a three-run home run, going one for four. Bravo, seven innings of work, only one earned run. And only four hits allowed. Ball hops over the catcher. Cade Burdett waits on deck. Spencer thought about chasing Lowen away after that offering from Logan McDougal. And that's golfed into uh... shot into left field and unable to squeeze that is Ryan Nimi. Nimi almost made the catch. Oh yeah, of course. And Spencer Rankin with a single to left field finds himself on at first here. Two out shot by Rankin to keep Swift Current alive here in the ninth. And now Cade Burdett. So Cade Burdett to the plate. Cade Burdett. Uh, 0 for 3. 0 for 3, rather, yeah. And it behooves us to mention that he's one strikeout away from a potential golden sombrero here. So he'll hope to make contact. at the number eight hitter in Swift's batting order. This one's Hits that one up in the air into foul territory. And that'll get out of play. So fouled off. Two strikes against Burdett. One and two the count. One ball, two strikes. Here's the look in. And the pitch. Curveball. Jam shot. And, and that is caught by the first baseman, Gage, Gage Buck. Buck. That's, that's it for the... Uh, so five will have to be enough for the Swift Current 57s. They lead at 6-1. Bottom of the ninth on the way. We'll see if Swift can lock it down when we return with 57s baseball. At Crop Production Services, we're on in our commitment to farming. As in, it's on, lights on, game on. On this day and every day. Because through seeding, spraying, and harvest, on isn't an option. It's a marathon of on for farmers. On track, on time, always on. Like CPS in your community. So much riding on your farm. So many ways to profit from our experience. Bring it on. CPS, we're with you. Welcome back to Swift Current 57's Baseball, brought to you by Crop Production Services and Living Sky Casino. Ryan Schweitzer bringing you the balls and strikes from Yorkton. Glad that you could join us. Our next webcast of 57's Baseball is going to be right back here in Yorkton, but not for a while, on Monday the 18th. 
And then the following Tuesday, Swift Current coming back to York. The difference being the, uh, the walks uh, and a couple of areas, but uh, the walks main, the main, uh, the main reason for the, uh, for the runs that have come in. So Aaron Pugh, another inning of work, check swing, and sent into the backstop. Jace Wilson. Jace Wilson at the plate. Number two hitter in Yorkton's batting order. Wilson, ground ball, Baker. And Baker gets that on to first for the first out of the bottom of the ninth. Swift Kearns, two outs away from their third win of the season. And winning back-to-back -back for the first time in 2018. I'm impressed with this Will Baker out there. So Not there yet, though. Still uh, some transactions to complete before we can call it a W. Look good out there. Colin Kellington. Shortstop Colin Kellington, sure-handed in the middle infield. He's made some big plays. Down in the dirt. Check the swing. Next count. One, and one. one ball, one strike. Count one and one here in the ninth. He's back and fires that one in there. A little low. Aaron Pugh right around the plate in relief here. Fly ball. Hit to center field. Anthony Stewart. Another example of Anthony making things look easy out in center field as he tracks that ball down. And toughest out in Yorkton's lineup. Ryan Nemi to the plate. Aaron Pugh works an 0-1. Nimi swings, gets a piece of it. Strike two. Aaron Pugh. Outside. Just a bit up and outside. One and two. And Spencer Rankin's just going to go have a quick chat with Pew here. No, no, don't announce that, guys. No runners on base or anything. Pew and Rankin possibly discussing what kind of poutine they're going to get at Joe Beavers after this game. Aaron Pugh yeah. called strike three, and that'll do it. 57s take it 6-1. They'll board the bus and be back in Swift Current tonight, and their next game is going to be Sunday afternoon, 2.05. They will host the Regina Red Sox. Thank you very much for joining us for another edition of Swift Current 57s Baseball, brought to you by Crop Production Services and Living Sky Casino. 6-1, Swift wins it. Zach Bravo with the win. Bo McClintock with a three-run dinger. That'll do it. Good night from Yorkton.